A new kind of a care center designed especially for people who live on the streets, and it treats more than just health issues. Providing more robust medical services uh, to our homeless population can reduce stress on the medical services we all need. 13 News reporter J.D. Wallace shows us Tucson's first medical respite center for homeless clients set to open in only a few months. Casa de Respira will provide post-hospitalization services to 1,500 homeless people each year. But even this 15,000 square foot facility shows this type of care requires time and resources. I think the, the light that comes through the window and... Casa de Respira will be a 48-bed medical respite center for homeless in Tucson. This is one of uh, three of the men's dormitory areas. It provides 36 beds for men, two private rooms for hospice and other individual care, and 10 beds for women with space to fit their needs. We expect that we'll have guests coming to us that have very recently experienced um, extreme violence. Program Administrator Scott Kim walks community partners through the almost $8 million facility built by Catholic Community Services of Southern Arizona with support from a variety of donors like United Healthcare Community Plan of Arizona. It overall will bring down the utilization on the healthcare system. The facility shows how medical care, substance abuse and mental health counseling, housing assistance and life skill education require adequate space and personnel versus what was recently seen at Acatillo Hotel last month, where management there said that program stopped paying to house hundreds of people at once. The second floor um, clockwise. At least four or five times the number of people Casa de Respiro will accommodate. It is very uh, time consuming. Uh, we have to staff our facility 24 seven with licensed individuals, credentialed uh, staff that can meet the needs of our clients. CEO Elena Dwyer points out Catholic Community Services of Southern Arizona aims to put people on a better path than when they arrived. So we want to treat the individual as a whole. And reduce demands on resources we all need. We're hoping uh, this program will do is sort of disrupt that cycle of, of homelessness and, um, and, and high rates of hospitalization. The dedication of this facility is expected in December and it should start accepting guests early next year. On the South Side, J.D. Wallace, 13 News. More money is going to help.